I'm going to be out majorly with my uh, tent and his kids. So we're here after the Nostal game where Hina have just drawn 1-1. Um, Hina's goal coming from Jay Cooper on 15 minutes. With me, I've got manager Glenn Clarence and coach Steve Huntington. Glenn, um, disappointing day all around. Um, yeah, what have you got to say on that one? Uh, to be honest, Tony, I've never been in this position where you uh, in 10 years of management at the end, end of the season where you're playing for nothing or apparently playing for nothing. Um, I thought for the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes, we could have scored 10 goals. No disrespect to Nostal, and we played some poor teams in two years while we've been at Eden Town, but no disrespect, and I mean it, they are the worst team that we have played in the last two years. And that second half was the worst second half I have managed in 10 years. Absolutely disgusting from every single person who wore the shirt. And when I say there's nothing to play for, I've just reminded them that this club's 130-something years old. I'm a local lad, there's a few local lads in there, and the minimum you give a club of this size in non-league football with a decent crowd is effort. And we got none. Probably one player, and he knows who he was. Absolutely disgusted. I told him how good they were last week, second half, probably the best we've played in two years. That is the worst 45 minutes I've managed in 10 years. Disgusting. Thanks for your honesty there, Glenn. Um, Steve, I know you're again a man that loves a nil. Um, very sloppy goal from Hina's point of view. Did you ever see from the first 20 minutes, did you ever see us conceding? It's funny you should say that because probably about 10 minutes into the second half, um, Glenn actually said it'll take them to score for us to wake up. And my words were these will never score. Uh, proved wrong yet again. Um, just not good enough. Uh, simple as that. And I've said this before. I very rarely come out and, and criticise players publicly. Uh, we keep that within the dressing room, but somewhere along the line, what you kind of give a player from a coach's perspective is that desire and that personal pride. Um, and we seem to be lacking some of that. And when it comes down to the end of the season and pre-season and, and my opinions asked for in terms of players, I think we've missed that all season. We haven't got enough winners um, in, a, in a dressing room. And that might mean that y you've not got as much technical ability, but you don't always win leagues with 15 technically gifted players. you next off. I am, mate. Daniel! What would you say about Nick Hall there, Glenn? Well, I said I didn't want to name him, Tony, but I, I said it, I think he's been immense for the last two months. I think he was the only one well, he had a go. He gave everything. Don't get me wrong, I think a prob couple probably, it's a bit unfair to say they didn't try. A couple more did try, but the quality wasn't there. Again, I, I speak about the group, Tony, and I'm included in that group. And You can blow smoke up the bums for what they did last season. And we said it before the game that if we play, if we could play like we did in that second half against Shore Lane last week, we'd be top of the league. And I stand by that. The reason why we're not is because we are so inconsistent, it's unbelievable. And we're inconsistent because, I don't know, we, we've got the quality that showed last week, but we haven't got the mental strength to go and kill teams off. And it's, like I say, it's, it's perceived probably in their heads that this is a nothing game because we're not going to go win, win something. I've said, like I've just said before, for me, as an Ina lad, it's a big club. Every single game you play, you should put a shift in. And if you don't know about Ina or I don't give a toss about Ina, you're semi-professional, you're being paid. So the minimum you do is a shift. And I'll always be honest, and I'll repeat, embarrassed today. Yeah, Tuesday night, next game, Steve. How, how are we going to prepare for that one? How are we turning it around for that? I'm not exactly looking forward to, to myself, Tony, after that 90 minutes. And I think what Glenn said about um, some people's per perception of end-of-season games, where well, we've got five more games that mean nothing, haven't we? Uh, and if we get on the bus at quarter to five mm -hmm. to travel up the M1, and that's our attitude, then I think we might as well stay here and just give them the points. Um, I would expect 
and I hope that all the players do listen to this, I would expect that after today, that we don't have to say too much on Tuesday night. And then after Tuesday night, we'll travel to the worst team in the, the league, because they're bottom, uh, on a rugby pitch. And they'll also have to have the right attitude there, otherwise it's going to be a long five games. Repeating myself again, five games that mean nothing. This is Ena Town Football Club, founded in 1883, with an average of 180 fans, where we're going to Thackley, leaving at probably half past four, because that's what the league demands of you, with probably another terrible referee like we had today, and we'll have 30, 40 fans travelling with us. Tell them it means nothing. Have you already started the work and the preparation for next season? Is there anything you want to share with the people that listen? Again, Tony, I'll, I'll always be honest. I think we, we changed too much at the start of the season. That's why we um, haven't fulfilled up a potential. Um, I don't think we need to change much next season. We'd like to keep the majority of the squad, probably add two or three players instead of 10 or 12. Um, but again, another point, nothing to play for. If you want to be at this football club, every time you go on pitch, you're playing for next season. You're playing if we want to keep you. And if we were judging it on today, there'd be not many, would there?